Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12 is in the middle of their yearly count season and wishes to inform the public about it. Some area residents may be confused as to why they see hoses running across the road or see road workers out by themselves at odd hours. Public Information Officer Shantana Woodward tells us more. Those hoses um, are designed for you to drive over. The difference in the air pressure is what determines what type of vehicle it is. Um, that way we'll know if it is a, a school bus or um, if it's a bicycle, something. The difference in the air pressure helps us determine that. Um, and those counts are essential for us to develop plans on what an area may need. Um, we use that to see uh, what type of trends is going on and if that area is growing in population, if that area has more uh, commercial vehicles, if it's got a lot of bicycles or motorcycles. It really just helps us determine uh, what we may need in the future there. It's Christmas in July at Appalachian Wireless, and every week in July, you can win $250 cash with a big $2,500 giveaway August 2nd. Visit any Appalachian Wireless location for details. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The main purpose of the traffic count is to gather information so the transportation cabinet can better serve the region. As always, watch for road workers wearing high visibility jackets during this time. In those high traffic areas like US 23 and 119, you can imagine how dangerous that can be if he's out there stretching those across the road. So those counts usually happen um, at odd hours when uh, traffic isn't so heavy. So he may be out there doing those in the wee morning hours or really, really late at night. So uh, people may be unsure of why there's a van parked at odd hours. Just know that that's probably our traffic count guy out there and he's just doing it at a time when there's not as, many, uh, as much traffic. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.